Ten years ago, Romaine rose up into the spotlight and took a stand against hate. She does more without a voice than anybody I've ever heard. Since then, she has moved to radio, and her role has only grown bigger. I can be the leader of the gay community. Now, it's your turn to get involved. Take a stand and join in the cause. The community needs you, and this is where you can join in. Only got two hands. It's Derek and Romaine, and a leader from the LGBT community, to offer advice and to guide you to how to make a difference in the world. So join in now with community service here on Derek and Romaine. Derek Hartley here, along with Romaine Patterson, and a full studio of folks with us for community service. So we're going to be talking about Night of a Thousand Gowns, which is going on Saturday, March 31st at the Broadway Ballroom at the Marriott Marquis Hotel right here in beautiful New York City. And with us here in studio is Gary Cosgrove, president, the board of directors, uh, who is with us. Nice to see you, Gary. Good to see you. Uh, And we have recording artist Adam Barta, who is with us because he will be performing. Hello. Hello. And, of course, our returning champion, Lisa Lampanelli, (laughs) one of the honorary chairs for 2012. I am. I'm an honorary lesbian for the evening. I'm going to lick Romaine clean. Hot damn. Yay! I party. Mm. Didn't that make you want to throw up, Gary? A little bit. Yes. <laughs> now, Gary, uh, for folks who are not familiar with Night of a Thousand Gowns, give them your best eight bars. Best eight bars. <laughs> Night of a Thousand Gowns. If you've ever witnessed a thousand drag queens in a room, this is the place to be, and all for charity. And this is our 26th year doing this. We've been around uh, for that long, wearing dresses and all kinds of nasty Beautiful. I, I can't look at Lisa and be clean now. <laughs> you, don't you don't have, have to be, be clean. clean. It's serious, uh, you yeah, faggot. Satellite radio. You can say any fucking thing you want. I have to be respectful. I Adam, am the president. Break his cherry. Say cornholer uh, or something. I, I have been to Night of a Thousand Gowns, and not everybody in the gown is a lady. Oh, that's for there that's are some for sketchy sure. Sketchy queens there sometimes. That's for sure. And we, the Imperial Court of New York puts this uh, event on. This is our annual fundraising. Um, if you don't know anything about uh, the Imperial Court. We have fun with royalty and we give ourselves titles and we rise to emperor and empress and we crown at midnight. And this year, our beneficiaries will be P Flag NYC and New Alternatives, which is an LGBTQ homeless youth services organization. Wait a damn minute. That's who the money's going to? That's it. It's not going to the Westboro Baptist Church like I thought it was? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Who, by the way, Gary, are fucking protesting me again because you damn fags? Well, that's right. Are you going to donate some more money? Um, yes. On Friday, they're protesting me in Springfield, Missouri. Awesome. What the fucking fuck? Well, we I didn't, love you. <laughs> we didn't tell you we invited them to Night of a Thousand Gowns so you can donate some more money. Oh, my God. You gays. You love the dough. Uh, more strap-ons for everybody. Everybody. It's true. <laughs> uh, for more information about Night of a Thousand Gowns, go to the website icny.org for the Imperial Court of New York. Uh, and uh, they're also on Facebook as well. Uh, so, Lisa, how did you become involved with uh, Dudes and Dresses? Can I tell you exactly what happened? Yes. I was doing Celebrity Apprentice. Uh-huh. And every day was a harrowing, harrowing, horrible experience because I had to deal with brain dead twats 24 7. Oh, I've been watching. I yeah. get, we're going to talk. So, I right. was really miserable for all those weeks. So one day, an uh, email pops up, and it's from Gary Fag Cosgrove, who asked me to be host or some shit with some fag group. And I said, I need someone to make me feel good about myself. I said, look, I'm wanted, I'm loved, and I said yes. And now I got to get a goddamn dress and give to the homos again. Gary, Wait, I resent on. you. Stop right there. You have to wear a dress? No, well, I don't have to, but I'm going to, honey. Okay, now I uh, gotta work it. I'm not gonna dress in a tux like Paula Poundstone, uh, circa 1985. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, what kind of dress are you gonna wear? I can't tell you. It's a big secret, but uh-huh. it is a nice little nod to the whole idea of dressing in drag. It's super cute. Uh-huh. Who's making it? Plug my good friend. Our wonderful Empress Paprika Swirl and Planet Pepper is making a one of a kind dress for Ms. Lisa. But you know what's oh, wow. great about it, Romaine? You don't feel fat when you go there because they've got the mannequins. You know those dress yeah. forms in a man's build so you don't feel like you're the fattest cunt whoever was there right because me and pepper seem to about be about the same size you're a little We're both taller. about a size 20 so i'm like <laughs> fuck after the lap band i'm not going to him again that's all i can say <laughs> but i am dressing up okay so Holy see i got you. involved out of the love for you and self-hate for the freaking apprentice that's what happened 
That's as, as good a reason as any. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Adam Barta, you're also going to be performing at Night of a Thousand Gowns. See, the only reason why I agreed to do it was because I wanted to meet Lisa. Because Aww. me and my mom, my mom actually does hasn't seen your stand-up routine, but she's addicted to Celebrity Apprentice. <gasps> so I cannot wait for her to sit in the front row Yay. and hear you at this event. Oh. Just use the cunt word like... A, well, what I love a, about you, Adam, is that you are bringing your mom. Because my mom is with us still. She's alive, but I'm ashamed of her. And don't bring her in public. <laughs> Your mother's young, I bet, because you're quite... How old are you? I'm 32. God, you're so cute. You look so freaking much younger, I doesn't he? It. It's Botox, but... Uh, honey, work it, it if works. you got it. <laughs> That's what Cher uh, says. I yeah. have to warn Adam, though, before he leaves uh, our studio, you're in danger when you get into the hallway because um, there is a former employee of this show, uh, intern really, she's out in the hall and she has threatened to rip the jacket right off of you because it's so fucking hot and she loves it so much and she's skinny enough like you to wear it. So, uh, watch yourself. The girl with the Maleficent tattoo on her thigh. Yeah, she really is evil. It's okay. actually, I'll plug, the, it's Dynasty Fashion, and her name's Alyssa Brooks. She's actually, of course, a drag queen, and she's yeah. made this, and it's it's not only Why form not? and beautiful, it's functional, because if you get attacked or gay bashed, you have spikes <laughs> to put in your fucking <laughs> eye. On your shoulder. No, Adam. <laughs> I love you. Just work the shoulder. I love that he just throws out gay bashed, like it happens all the time. Yeah. Did it happen the to you? Have thing. you ever been gay bashed, Adam? But Not by me. You know, no, I haven't, but... <laughs> You know, I think that, you know, as a celebrity, everybody should have the opportunity to be stalked. Gay bash, no, because they fucking suck. But, you right. know, I want a stalker. I want some kind of like. I think you've got one. Good. She Her can. Name is she can. It's a, is she a lesbian? No, no, but she's a hot piece of ass, let me tell you. I saw her in the hall, man. She's hot. She might even turn you into a, yeah. you know. Well, I doubt that. Yeah, she's oh, scary. Scary. She's scary. She's scary. Scary. Like, glad. No. Adam, how long ago did you find out you were a fag? I have been a fag probably since I was, I would say, you know, out of the womb. It's kind of like, Love you know, it. you growing up, you know, I remember like, I think I tried on a lot of girls clothes when I was younger. So I got the whole drag queen thing out of me when I was young. And my parents were probably really confused about that. But, you know, um, was your mom cool and supportive when you would put on her outfits? She, <laughs> she was the best, <laughs> except, you know, when I would try on her bras. Um, no, <laughs> not that I did. But she was very cool, very supportive. I, I couldn't have a better mom. So. Aww. And she Aww. loves you, so she, she's, gotta be great. she's loving this right and, now. And Lisa, when did you find out you were a lover of fags? You know what? It happened in college. I had a college roommate who I suspected might be a cornholer. Uh-huh. And one day he said to me, Lisa, I have a secret. I go, you're gay. And he said, yes, I am. And I said, well, you can stay living here anyway because <laughs> I'm moving you dirty faggot no I, know, I, said, no, I said I love it tear to my eyes and, 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 yeah, and actually now that I think about it though if I go back even farther it kind of dawns on me like wow my best friend in high school ends up he's gay you know uh-huh. so it really probably eighth grade mm. and it's stuck with me and I love it because you gays are loyal mm-hmm. you're good not these fair weather cunts thank you good night god bless us everyone yeah, we're loyal until we turn. That's true. But yes. Then you get bitchy. <laughs> then we get real Adam, bitchy. Adam, if I called your mom a cunt in the audience, would you be like, oh, Lisa, how dare you? I would applaud. I would, <laughs> she would love it. We would help. <laughs> Derek, you got to love the young gays today. Don't you? I do. Even the old gays like Gary. Look at oh, him. Oh, no. Trust me. <laughs> Derek. Sorry, <laughs> Gary. Lisa, Derek has no problem loving the young oh, men. Oh. Do you like the younger men? I don't, but. How old like was me. that gay you made out Ooh. with last oh, night? Oh, I made out with an 18 year old at a bar. <laughs> but it was I a bar. It. Horrifying. I think that's fantastic. Uh-huh. Romaine, how's the, who, what's your youngest? Uh, I go mean, ahead, uh, bitch. I, I I don't like them much younger than me. I think the younger the youngest I've ever gone is like five or six years younger. That's than pretty me. good. I once had one yeah. half my age. Wow. The guy was twenty five. I'm fifty. So wow. I didn't want to even to bang him or burp him. But now that I'm Ends getting older, both I would right. feel younger. I think so. Oh, yeah. Why not? I mean, I see some twenty one year olds out there. That I'm like, whoa, hello. Hey, Lisa, the minute Jimmy B. Boss dies of a heart attack. Lisa, oh, I have a question for you. What's yes. your number? My number <laughs> is so if fucking If anybody's seen huge. the Celebrity Apprentice No, last we night. did a little thing on Celebrity Apprentice <laughs> where we did a play on the uh, that movie, What's Your Number? Like, how many guys have you slept with? Oh, Dude, right. I lost track. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck happened. But I went through some horror stage in college and after. It was insane. Who I don't even it? get what happened. I just lost track. And I said, after about 150, you just stop counting and you go, you know what? Fuck it. What? That's a summer Ent- for some of these gays. That's true. Yeah. Enter at your own risk is what I always said. Some of us gays, she said. 
the lesbians are the worst. No, they, they unfortunately, don't they get in relationships and no, stick with them? Yeah, but they date around in the same circle over and over. I, was, I went through a whore summer. Incestuous. Yeah. By summer, I mean four years. Yeah, Romaine uh, was yes. a slut. I was a slut. A straight up les slut. But yeah. is that a bad thing? I think it's nice. Oh, it did is. it sound judgmental when I said that out loud? No, 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 no. <laughs> but don't you, I think other people do judge. Not us in this room. Adam, no. you've had your slut phase. Don't worry, mom isn't it's listening. Still, Adam's, numbers big. Yeah, Adam's slut phase big. is still going on. Look at those shoulders. <laughs> uh, These are also, also used for. Uh, yeah. Look at Mr. President rolling his eyes here. But the, like the, his number's not. But big. the lesbians. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm well, married. The lesbians are very judgmental of the slutty. Lesbians. They are. Yeah. yeah. Well, not many lesbians that can be slutty like me. Wow. I like that you did it, though. I no, think that makes too. you more human I'd and approachable. I'd continue if my wife would let me. Yeah, what is it with these cock-blocking spouses of ours, huh? <laughs> I mean, she's more of a pussy block, but yeah, I know. Oh, you know really what I'm saying, whore. <laughs> yeah. Adam, are you married or I have dating? A, I or? have a boyfriend. Is he a little cute twink like you? He's actually a big burly kind of <laughs> IT guy. You know, Ooh, IT sounds he's like, hot. He's scared. He sounds was scared like actually job. of this. He was like, "Don't <laughs> talk about me." <laughs> you sound like you have a job. To do yeah. <laughs> well, you you know, Lisa. At a certain point, you're like, "Hey, are you employed?" Oh, thank God. <laughs> yes, you sound great. I would happily go out with you. I absolutely yes. agree. You know, actually, I like guys who are unemployed because then they feel they have to stay with you, and they owe you something and you just don't put them in the will and then you die and haha they're homeless <laughs> jokes on you fucker but they would have been homeless anyway truthful so it's fine <laughs> uh so gary uh with night of a thousand gowns coming up on saturday march 31st that's my uh, birthday by the way oh happy mm-hmm. snatch yeah. you yeah. want to celebrate it at night of a thousand gowns sounds like a fun way to celebrate you got a tuxedo <laughs> Jeez. I she's forgot. She's a lesbian. Her. She's got a flannel and overalls <laughs> and work boots. She doesn't have a dress, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say that. Let me say that. You don't go to a lot of fancy gown activities, Romaine. That's true. It's I totally... want to see you in a gown, honey. No, Do it. You really don't. You really don't. No. Have you, when's the last time you wore a dress? Don't be lying. Uh, the last time I wore a dress was the Out 100 party when I had to wear a dress because it was like a nice formally type of thingy thing. You didn't have to. You could have worn some know, sassy palazzo pants. I didn't want to look like a dyke. I wanted to actually look oh, like no. a lady. So I look like or a, a harem girl. <laughs> no, but the dykes, even the dykes who go to say yes to the dress go and they go to the Kleinfelds and they have some palazzo pants. Yeah. yeah. Very flowy. Yeah, I wore a dress. Was, With a fly for your was. penis. That was wild. Like, I don't like to wear a dress. I mean, I will if I have to, but I don't want to wear a dress. I'm not really thrilled about wearing one either. Yeah. Yeah, I got out of the habit. You know, I stopped wearing those stupid dresses I used to wear, those 50s. But you know, Pepper, if I may call her, him, it stuff. <laughs> her. Like, whatever. Makes a damn nice dress. Yes, now, he does. Um, oh, she does. How many dresses would you say you have in your closet right now? Oh, my God. You would die because that fucking celebrity apprentice, they tell you you have to show up. Get this. (laughs) 36 looks. If you last the whole time, you will be getting changed 36 times. So, basically, that's why I had to stay on the show because what am I going to do with all my fucking clothes? Have a yard sale for Oscar (laughs) de la Hoya and Sherry Shepard, those fat cunts? No. So, I had to really stay on. So, I bought out a whole Lane Bryant. So, I have literally, I would say 50 or so dresses. Yeah, it's horrifying. Trust me, I was not happy about this. Wow. And a lot of leggings, because leggings can be very slimming with a tunic and mm. a long pendant. Interesting. Yes, Big Beautiful Woman magazine <laughs> says it's very slimming to did wear a t- lovely did you, pendant. Did you take a gay shopping with you? No, I have a girl who is actually... She used to be a plus size fit model, which uh-huh. means a size ten. Whoop de fucking yeah, do. Yeah, that's, that's to that's me skinny. Yeah, I know, size. right? Monsters. But she actually has much empathy for the full formed gal, uh-huh. and she was very good about it. Just like Peppers being with my outfit. Yep. yep. I feel skinny in that room. Uh, are you gonna put the girls into some tight and lift? Hell up no! And I'm you know the very shy. Like that. I don't give a fuck. So you're not showing the tits? No, I'm disgusted by my own boobs. What? I want to cut them off. <laughs> no, I, no, I just really am not an exhibitionist. I am so shy when it comes. Look at me. I'm all covered up. When I met my so what are you going to be, like way, a fucking nun? Well, shut the fuck up, whore. <laughs> you wear a tux, you big dyke. Uh, if I were there, I'd wear True. a big tit-popping gown would? that would make my tits she go does. on She display. always leads with her nipples. Fuck See, yeah. I used to. I'm just too shy. I think it's because I got married. I hit 50. I gained like 30 pounds. If I ever decide to get my gastric bypass, then I'll stick out my tits. But until then, 
No, no one wants to see the floppies. You'd be amazed what a good bra can do, honey. I have good bras. Get off me! <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to put your good ass. No, you're cool. You. You're, I'm just kidding. I'm I love telling having you, our fake fight. The, the gays love a good uh, brumski. They'll be doing brumski all night. Show them <laughs> brumski. Like yeah. yeah, they do like that. Oh, and they like to stick their fingers down. Yeah, but who the hell it? wants gays sticking anything down there? <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's just Penis, their maybe. At least you're getting felt up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I get felt. W freaking whore. <laughs> yeah, really. I love that. Jeez, I love that. It's yeah. like, well, just because I'm married doesn't mean we yeah. don't cornhole. Poor, really? poor Lisa Lampanelli yeah, not getting the girl at home. <laughs> She's got to go to the gay event, yeah, not have a really. thousand gowns, get a thousand pairs of hands on her boobs. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy Big Balls is sitting at home twiddling his twat. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Are you bringing him? Jimmy? No, I'm bringing a fag instead. Because uh, a fag is a terrible thing to waste. That's true. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> a homeless fag. Yes, yes, I am. Uh, now, Gary, I have been to Night of a Thousand Gowns twice, 2001 and 2002, when I first moved to New York. And I actually, I worked the silent auction table. Aww. Oh, my God. And I, we're still doing that silent auction. I believe it. And so 2001 actually, is when I was emperor and I was stepping down and my husband was stepping up. And we had the live snake in, up the runway that day. Oh, that my night. God. Are you doing any live animals? No, we're shit? not allowed live. Don't, in, <laughs> don't, don't invite the Trumps because they'll all be dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, I did not see the live snake. No, but the, it, it, was a, it was a crazy show that year. Yep, yes, it that was. is true. I had a crown of thorns. I made a, a design, the crown of thorns. I was the gothic midnight raven emperor. Oh, my God. But, you know, that's... The silent auction is one of our biggest uh, money makers at Night of a Thousand Gowns, and it's only developed to we raise over close to fifty thousand dollars with the silent auction alone. Yeah, well, awesome. that is pretty good. Um, now you, Gary, you. you say you've been dressing in drag how long? I don't do drag. I'm an emperor. Oh, whatever. Bitch. I'm a man. Oh yeah. I'm You're a right. man, yeah. baby. Yeah. I'm a man. You did man drag. <laughs> man. Well, true. Yeah, I, come on. I was just You're talking, dressing up. I said, to, drag. I said to Adam, I have five changes for Saturday night. He's like, what? <laughs> do you really? That How many like do you have, Adam? I really? and you're... I only have two. I have my performance and then my you know VIP thing. Oh, let me tell you and something, dress. Adam. No. These <laughs> fucking <laughs> and a dress from Lane yeah. Bryant. These old queens, <laughs> they really they they try too hard. And you do not shop at Lane Bryant, you skinny fuck. <laughs> you're forever twenty one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Mandy's. It's Mandy's. Uh, Mandy's <laughs> strawberry shop. <laughs> I think it's justice. I think that's what my niece is like. Justice yeah. and oh. rainbow and rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, I love that you remember <laughs> they that. They have like the five dollar glitter shirts that you can wear in like size zero and oh, like. I love those those were the days you know what it is the, the men of the imperial court for years when they first started used to just be the the escorts the emperors used to be just the escorts and tuxedos and these simple little shoulder crowns and it wasn't until probably i want to say 1998 where the emperor started busting out and wearing these glam robes and and I just took it a bit further, and it's just gotten tremendously worse ever since. Yeah, I mean, and, put it all out there. Yeah, we, we have to stand next to the drag queens, and how else, are, you know, we're going to compete. Do you still tuck your penis with duct tape, be, even though you're wearing <laughs> pants? Because I know I'm going to. N- no, a I, lot of tuck I told you. Lampanelli. Hell yeah, it's up my ass right now. Wow. It feels good, though. She's okay. hung like Hunsinger's horse. <laughs> She's got big balls. Yeah. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> You're not showing those at the ball. No, no, I don't want people to. That's a silent auction item, actually. That is. Yeah. I'll rub my balls on your forehead. Perfect. Adam, ten dollars. <laughs> His mother just put up a thousand. Oh, I fucking love him. Adam, can I say something about you, young gays? Yes, you may. You all fags have the best sense of humor. Can you? Can I tell you that? Because, like, some remember when the Dykes had no sense of humor, Romaine? Oh yeah, they still uh, like yesterday. Doing. Yeah. yeah. You young gays, Tomorrow. can you uh, assess for me, as a comedian, why is it so many young gays are so open and can take such a good joke? Because we know how to take a good dick. And taking a good dick means you can take it up the ass, means you can take you can take it from a good comedian. So I love it. You know, it's all about the sexual huh. freedom. How did I lose we control? Have these days. <laughs> Sorry, <I'm> Gary. <laughs> Sorry, Don't Gary. Worry, we're this, is awesome. this is for charity. Don't Don't worry. Worry. Shut the fuck. See, Lisa's, bringing, yeah. this out. Lisa's <laughs> bringing out my side Gary's never seen. I think and, Adam's know, just making Derek me sweat a little. Well, he's like... very cute. He's very cute. <laughs> All right, we plugged the damn event. What do you want, Gary? 
Derek was very gentlemanly about the whole thing. I didn't even get to mention who's not showing up. Oh, who isn't showing up? <laughs> the Trumps. Betty White? The Trumps. Betty White. <laughs> what a whore. Rue McClanahan. <laughs> She's dead. She showed up once. Betty White is going to be across town hosting the German fisting competition. She's busy and in demand. She's 90. Leave her the fuck alone, Gary. Who else isn't showing up? Uh, Tabitha Coffee's not showing up. What? Oh, she should not have to go. You know what? Those managers of you, you celebrity hey, types. Hey, I didn't even involve my man. I know. You didn't involve. She said, I'm doing it. But <laughs> right. she got booked in Toronto and she was all pissed There's a off hair that salon she, that needed some yeah, cleaning up. Apparently <laughs> so. Spring cleaning in Toronto. Well, Elvis Duran's coming. Elvis is coming. He, Elvis is unbelievable. He's been unbelievable for all this whole I thing. I love him. And uh, Rose McGowan was going to come until I upset her, so she's <laughs> not coming What the fuck anymore. did you do? Tell the Gary. story, Gary. I heard it. Go. Rose McGowan will only talk through texting. Oh, and one of God, our members does her hair when she's here mm. in New York. Mm-hmm. So I said, you need to come, Rose, because people want to see you. And, and she's like, well, all right. I'm not going to go through my publicist. I'll make my own deal. I want first class business travel to New York. I said, well, all right. I'll see how much that costs. She goes, you don't need to get me a room. Um, and I don't need a stylist because I have my own clothes. I said, okay. $3,500 I'm looking at. Course, These are the prices. So I emailed her back and I said, can't do it, Rose. It's too much. I said, I got JetBlue vouchers. Blah, 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 blah. JetBlue, a major sponsor for Night of a Thousand Games. Very awesome. good airline. Yes. Despite um, no first class. I hate it. Well, they had extra they leg room. They have extra, extra, extra room. Yes. They have extra cunt room. If you pay $65, <laughs> you can no, sit guess what in you do? Guess what you do with the JetBlue, Gary? Not to interrupt, I'm going to give all of you a hint. You buy two seats, even if you're skinny, then you spread out and you don't have to sit next to fatty from Oklahoma. That's, uh-huh. that's what the fuck you do. You buy those two for Roseman Gowan. You tell her to get her twat on that plane and stop being a little cunt, because when's the last time she was on a TV show? Well, the problem Say was... Say it when! Charm, 2004. Charm. Yeah. Hello! Hello, bitch! Make an appearance, okay? Quit auditioning. Well, she was in that Grindhouse movie with a gun for a leg. Oh, okay. Yeah, she oh, was in boy, that. that sounds that horrible. But uh, anyway... It was hilarious. <laughs> so, blah, 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 Lauren Ray Levy, a celebrity fashion stylist, who's also an honorary chair for the ball, wanted to dress her, and I sent her an email. Here's Rose McGowan's email address. Don't tell her where you got it from. Oh, boy. I said, she's a little bit wacky. I said, but, you know, I don't know what she wants me to do. Thank God no one listens to this show. Yeah, okay, especially Rose McGowan. Yeah. Well, she already um, know- Yeah, it gets worse. Okay. The only way, and the reason I got her email is because I put it in my cc line and i copy and pasted it and i forgot to delete it <gasps> you did not i did that's the worst so me and lauren ray are on the phone now and like she's not gonna read it she's gonna read it she's not gonna read it she's gonna read it she's, gonna read it. she's gonna read it 10 Everybody minutes later uh wacky am i ha 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 at least you oh. only said wacky uh, <laughs> celebrities don't have a sense of humor about themselves uh, warning, i said warning. oh rose it was just a joke blah 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 she goes well you ought to be a little more careful when you're copying people in on emails oh, and that was especially if those that. people are wacky rose mcgowan Wack- i mean okay. wacky that's not a bad word right, i didn't say well, she was a cunt well, why don't we but she is <laughs> yeah, but- let's just change this to a more positive yes. tone because okay. derek i've listened to your show and romaine uh-huh. many times you're nothing if you're not positive I will say this. <laughs> Gary, tell us who is showing up. Who is showing up? <laughs> Gary, right. are you having Leah Delaria still or did she bail? Let's not get into that story. Oh, you fucking uh, asshole! You gotta be kidding. I'm not what coming. Is going I on? No, no tell- she is coming. Oh, thank and- God. But she's just not performing. What the fucking fuck? Well, when I booked her, she had nothing going on on March 31st. Come to find out through a friend who's going to see her in her off Broadway show out of Iceland down in Soho. Said, oh, I'm not going to come to the ball this year. I'm sure I'm going to go see her in a play. So I oh, called yeah, up yeah, her yeah. manager, and that was a big fight. So I finally said, you know what? Make her show up at the VIP reception, have her come in later, and uh, introduce somebody, and we'll be happy. And what do you expect me to do? Am I the only guy? You are going to have to lift this whole show. Adam on your back, Lisa 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 me and Adam, Adam Barnes. Is it just me and you, honey? It's, yeah, clearly. clearly. Who Raina, else is it? Raina is I don't performing. Know. You remember Who Raina? Is that? She's one of the top She's, dance no, recording I'm just asking. artists. I'm not yeah. hip to the kids' thing. They have her song. Can you play it in the background? <laughs> Find yeah, another artist. woman. Shake your love. Well, that's Debbie. She's on next season. Is she a singer on the Fisher Price label? Come on. Can we get? Want me to get Debbie Gibson for you? Debbie Gibson. Oh my God. You should really. Yeah, well, I won't. All right, fine. <laughs> yeah, you can't get Debbie Gibson because she's making me nuts. Oh, I love Debbie. Why don't really? you bring that Latin oh 
bombshell who you really oh, have a thing. Oh, yeah, that God, bitch. she's stupid as fuck. <laughs> okay, oh, I just can't stand stupid people. Sarah Adarath cool. is performing. She just had the number one UK hit. Oh, she's great. Performing. This is America. I know, but <laughs> fuck, yeah. we're in the US. <laughs> Go let's ahead. not talk about anyone the ca- else I've never heard of. Let's not talk about the, me. Let's not talk about the cast of Mamma Mia. Oh, I love Mamma Mia. They're Are they not coming? Be the- what? <laughs> Are you serious? Would you like Priscilla? This all now. Wait, this all happened. This wait, all, how did you lose Mamma Mia? This all happened in the same week. <laughs> I want to know. I had a problem with Leah Delera. I had a problem with Mamma Mia. Uh, what with, did Mamma uh, Mia say? I'm seeing them tonight. On Friday, they called me and they said, "Oh, the press." The department has decided to cancel all of Mamma Mia's cast outside appearances because they're going to be producing a web series with them. Uh, I said, you're fucking kidding me. You know what kills me, what galls me about this, Gary? This is a fucking charity. This rubs me the wrong way. Do you know how much money I earn on a fucking Saturday night? And I put it aside for your stupid fucking homo (laughs) charity because I felt bad about myself on The Apprentice. Am I backing out now that I feel good about myself? No. But these other celebrities, Adam, are you seriously, are you offended a little bit that people back out on a charity? I am. I am. I am tremendously offended. I have to be perfectly offended. I'm offended. And it's very offensive. Because I think also this, somebody offered me uh, something like, to do a benefit and for a lot of money. I didn't even know you could make money on benefits. I thought all the money should go to the charity. Right. So this is rubbing me the wrong way about these people backing out on you. You'd actually be surprised how many people want request money. This is disgusting to me. Taylor I Dane. Shut Taylor up. Dane. What was the Don't last hit dis- she had, Taylor Dane? I know. Twenty five thousand dollars she wanted. See, this is no good. I'm talking to the people of New York City, That's Connecticut, and New Jersey. <laughs> Gary, I'm making a plea. Come to Night of a Thousand Gowns because you people are going to support this charity because these fucking celebrity cunts won't and they want to fly first class when Lisa Lampanelli, their freaking house enter, is fucking coming in for nothing. And right. Adam, but, uh, well, Adam, you're not very established. Can you call <laughs> your <laughs> but, no, I, Adam, are you, are you, I joke with you, but aren't you offended by this, that people would back out on a charity? I am. I think it's ridiculous. I think if I can do it, and, you know, Thank you. and I'm not an A-level celebrity. I'm clearly F-level. I'm so. clearly C-level, as in cunt. As in real Go cunt. Go ahead. Lisa, wants the floor. Why can't you call the Gakin? Who? Gakin. Who? Gakin. Oh, Clay? Yeah. Because we're friends from Apprentice, not friend friends. I could send an, a text tonight if you want, but I feel like a dick. Then I don't come through for you. Isn't it enough mm. that I'm performing and showing up and lending my name? Now I got to fucking book the goddamn thing, too. Listen, <laughs> she's asking. I'm not That's asking. That's true, Gary. Just think you have been nice. Those lesbians are almost as big as balls are almost as big as yours, Lisa. That's true. Pretty balls. But I will tell you who's coming. Me? The yeah. cast of Chicago is replacing oh, Mama Mia. That's very good. Okay. That's yeah. very right, good. Fine. That's even a that's who's even a starring better one. in now Christy Brinkley no, that I, fucking ho- I forgot her name is like <laughs> setting the house on fire with that one. Anya something is her name. Oh, she's hot. Yeah, she is. Hot. It's very sexy. And um, Ebony XL will be performing. I don't know that one. She's a black drag queen. She's going to do her Love Whitney it. tribute. Love it. Can and, we laugh because Whitney it was funny when she died? No, is that bad? No, <laughs> the gays love a good joke. I could love you so much. Oh my god, bath story. time! And let's not forget, <laughs> Therese Janeco is is going to uh, perform and play the, with Barry Levitt, who's the uh, fantastic. Help you. By the way, I'm singing. She's Derek, singing. If you must know, I'm at this sorry, event, what? God bless you, Lisa Lampanelli. No, I'm very fabulous singer. I'm going to be doing some stand up. She's de- debuting her singing, aren't what, you? What no, you I've done. Oh, you've done it before. I did it last How dare night. you? You're nothing special. Oh, Wait, hold on. What song are you singing? <laughs> I need to know. I need to know. No, what? it has to be a surprise. It's a, a showstopper. You know, it's crazy. Uh, it's fantastic. It's a duet and with I, me. Thank you, Adam. Indeed it is. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to explain. No, no. Really, it is. <laughs> so you know what it is? Here's what you people. How much are the tickets? $325. This is nothing. Can I tell you why? You get a fantastic evening. I personally will not be there. Five hours of open bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you. Wait, five hours of open bar? Yes. Oh, all right. All you drunken fags. You know <laughs> you like Saturday to get drunk. Friday. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. Also, if you went to see me, my last show in the city was Radio City Music Hall. That must have been a hundred and something bucks. Just for me alone, you'd pay the hundred. Fucking come out and support your cornholer community. I am sick and tired of this shit. Fuck all those whores. That's right. Well, I'd call you for comp tickets. So uh, You're not getting them. I'm son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't know you were a chat. <laughs> so... <laughs> Is Kathy Griffin coming? No, that cunt. Let's not even talk about. Let's not even talk about her. Oh, I was just a couple yeah, of years ago. Okay, with Derek. A couple uh, of years ago, she was performing at uh, the theater at Madison Square Garden mm-hmm. on the same night. We mm-hmm. asked her just come up, 
When say hello. Yes. Her publicist said no. What is it about you? Ricky that- Martin's going to be three floors down doing a Vita. Well, we asked come him on. to come upstairs. It's a very stressful show. It's a Broadway minutes. show. It hasn't opened yet. Five minutes. We ask. We'll give you an award. Five minutes. Come up. You're a big Latin gay. You'll sell a million tickets. Let me tell you something. His manager said, well, he just signed as a spokesperson for Viva Glam, and they won't approve his appearance. I don't like all these politics. Derek, are you offended at the politicking? Go. You have the floor. I am offended by the politicking. Thank you, Derek. Not surprised about the Kathy Griffin. So there you go. It is very sad to me. People well, just don't like gays that much. They claim, they <laughs> claim like where they're gay. The, the, the queen we're... of fag this. I mean, I do. I, I do. I do. I support you all the way, even she though does. I can't have you in my house. You are fantastic people. <laughs> Only to uh, clean. They can come in yes. the house to clean or to do yes. your hair. Or decorate. Those are yeah. the Spanish fags. The maricones. <laughs> 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 but, you know, you can't sit on the couch or anything. No. 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 no I have leather. True. I just wipe it right off. No, but come out and support. Go give them the website again because this is very making me mad. ICNY dot org for the Imperial Court of New York, uh, and uh, Night of a Thousand Gowns goes on Saturday, March thirty first at the Broadway Ballroom at the Marriott Marquis Hotel, right here in New York City. Now, Derek and Romaine, yeah. I have to go now because I have to make up an excuse for canceling. I have to have uh-huh. a meeting with my parents. Don't let her, do not let her, do Gary, not let her out never. of the studio. I would never. I would never. I know where you I live. Never. I, I followed never. you home. <laughs> no, no, seriously, I would never do that. But I do have to go. I'm going down to Jim Caruso's cast party tonight. I may uh, do a nice duet. Right. I'm going to be hanging out with some of the cast of Mamma Mia, and I'm going to give them shit for you. Give them shit. But actually, it's not think, their fault. I think Leia Delaria no, is doing two this. numbers of that, so mm, that would really? be really fun. Fantastic. No, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Mm. <laughs> come come yeah. down to Birdland tonight and support Jim Caruso's cast party. It's fabulous. We love him. And can I just say this, Lisa? Yes, darling. I am on Team Lisa. I am rooting for you Yay. on The Apprentice. I hope you fucking win. Thank you. I hope I do, too. I'm sick and tired of those cunts. I can't stand it. <laughs> me and Penn Jillette are the only ones who are in the same brain and weight class, so vote for me and Penn, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Excellent. We uh, love Lisa. Yes, and uh, I want to thank uh, you as well, Gary Cosgrove, for being with us, president of the board of directors uh, for Night of a Thousand Gowns, uh, presented by the Imperial Court of New York. Go to icny.org for tickets and information. Night of a Thousand Gowns, Saturday, March 31st, right here in New York at the Broadway Ballroom of the Marriott Marquis Hotel. You'll see Lisa Lampanelli there. Adam Barda is going to be performing as well uh, and it's going to be a terrific show so be sure to check that out Adam thanks so much for being with us thank too. you for having us you bet and you can check out Adam on the web adambarta.com he's also on Twitter Adam underscore Barta and Lisa Lampanelli is on the web at insultcomic.com and on Twitter follow her as I do Lisa Lampanelli she is filthy and appalling Absolutely. coming up next uh, we will take your phone calls at 866-305-6887 here on Derek and Romaine Stick around for more outrageous fun with Derek and Romaine. And all in that horrible, snide, corkscrew English. On Sirius XM, RQ 108.